Okay, I'm just finishing up this little at Little Dart uh, uh, that I was working on last night. I went ahead and made a smaller point for this particular foreshaft, and I made a larger foreshaft for the point that I showed on the previous video. I'm a little more comfortable with this size. Let's get it in focus here. Okay, a little more comfortable with this size four shaft, with this size point, and I, I like this size point with this size four shaft. Although I think this might be a little, little small. I do have some other artifacts that are baker points that are smaller than the one I showed. Uh, I do have baker points that are smaller than these reproductions. Okay, but that one here on the right. It's supposed to be to scale to this one here, this one in the bag here. So I made one that's smaller, and uh, as you can see, there are difficulties in dealing with the small ones, just like there are they are with the big ones. I split this out by accident when I was uh, testing the the width or the diameter of the four shaft in the slot. But that's okay. I mean, that's not a big deal. Not even on real ones is that a big deal when you have a split because you're going to wrap it anyway. So I went ahead and made a larger four shaft for this one. Last night, I put some stain on this stump so you could see the foreground better or what's in the foreground better. Okay, this is um, asphaltum and gum base for the glue on the on the point there, and I went ahead and did some fletching on this one. 
Okay. Now, I do need to trim these back a little bit. The interesting thing is, it's easier both with the small one, a small one like this and a big one to start wrapping in the back, you know, with the feathers backwards. And then once you finish wrapping, you fold them forward and then wrap the front part. It's much easier to do it that way in this very small scale. I was having a heck of a time trying to get it done the other way with tying down the fronts first. Just can't do it with this small of a scale without taking forever. But it only took me a few minutes the other way. Okay, so there's the fletching. It pretty much matches the other dimensions on the fletching I have for the actual dart. I, I cut this dart just to save the fletching on it so I could do a little matchup for the scaling. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to wrap this up here. I just wanted to get this quickly done before uh, before tomorrow and a few days after that. I won't be able to work on this for a few days on any of these uh, videos so just wanted to wrap this up and I'll, I'll look for the smaller Baker point it might match up with this you know what I mean I might be able to find one I think I have a small one that's of this proportion okay and I'll, I'll do a video also I had a question on how do I do my four shafts and how do I get it to fit in so it slides uh, slides in and 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 um, how it is able to friction fit into the socket I'll go over that in a video how I get how I do the friction fit all right there's two different types of friction fit here uh, this one's more of a, a long taper and this one is more of a shorter taper See those dots that help me line up uh, the best way so it'll fit right. I uh, look at the node here and then I'll put a little marker dot just so I can line it up again. Because, you know, you, you turn the fore shaft around and you look down the shaft of the dart or the arrow and it, it fits in a, in a certain way best each time I mean you need to turn it around and find your best fit and then you put a little dot if that makes sense okay so this one like I guess I was saying this one here has more of a uh, abrupt taper from the dot downward and so does this socket it has more of an abrupt taper I did that on purpose I actually used a drill bit to put that taper in. You know, I could nap a drill out of flint with the same kind of taper, but I, I just found it very expedient, very easy to get this tapered countersink bit and then ream this reed, read the in, re, um, ream the inside of the reed so that I can get this type of taper but I'll demonstrate it with a real size but I think you got the idea okay and this all of this is real sinew on here here on the back here I just use type bond because it's much easier to deal with than hide glue even if even during hot weather today is extremely hot it's also extremely dry so the glue dries extremely fast and um, it gets very sticky it and it's difficult to uh, completely wash off even with uh, you know wipes or a towel or something it still remains very sticky but with tight bond it'll dry up and then just peels off all right
And just for size comparison, here's the dime again. All right, this was kind of rushed, but I hope you get the idea. All right, 